Hi, this is Teddy Burris. I'm uh, doing a class for Western Piedmont Community College Small Business Center. And I should have picked a better image. That got exploded out of shape. That was bad on my part. But anyway, this is all about uh, creating and using your what used to be called my Google My Business profile. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about the new naming as we go through this. I'm going to spend a few minutes uh, in this slide deck. And then after I talk about these points in the slide deck, then we'll drop out and we'll go into my uh, business profile and we'll talk about it and I'll answer any and all questions that you have. So thank you everybody for being here today. So who am I? I'm a social media strategist. I've been doing this since 2000, probably five or six. Got serious about it in 2007. I started my business in 2010. I'm a certified social media strategist. Uh, I experiment with social media on a regular basis so I can help other people figure out how to use it to get value from it. I'm all over the internet is TL Burris, double R I double S. So what is a Google business profile? It used to be called Google My Business, GMB. And a lot of people will still refer to it as that. It, um, it's how you stand out when someone does a Google search for your business, so they do a Google search for Burris Consulting, then uh, this uh, uh, this box will pop up on the right hand side. There's a term for it. I can't remember exactly the term, uh, but it'll show up and, and it'll give uh, the viewer who is Googling a business that's similar to yours, Googling, uh, doing a Google search for your keywords, your phrases or your business name. And this uh, box will pop up. And uh, so that others can see it and then they can go into it and they can discover more about your services, uh, your reviews, look at your photos and learn more about you. Call you, email me, email you, go to directions to get to you, et cetera, et cetera, whatever you want to put out there. Um, and you do it from when you log in, when you Google do a search, Google search for your own page and you're logged in as the admin, you'll get that button. Show up in Google searches, Google Maps, and customize it. It's pretty easy to do. You tell your story, show photos, information about your business post. Uh, you can uh, request reviews, accept reviews, respond to reviews. You can send direct messages to the people who message you, uh, frequently ask questions, essential in information, lots of content hidden behind that until someone clicks on it and they can open it up and look at it. Who can have one? It is predominantly any business that has a physical location that customers can visit or a business that travels to their customers. And uh, when you go to set the page up or the profile up, it's going to ask you what your address or do you travel to your customers and make that decision. Um, and you, you, um, you can be successful with a business profile as long as you avoid sharing the wrong stuff, you reflect and share your business honestly and transparently, follow all the policies. And, and anybody who, again, can have a Google business profile, uh, but it is predominantly designed for businesses. And the systems are really pretty robust. They can call out the fakes. Uh, the best place to start is on Google My, uh, my Maps. Uh, or Google Maps, and you, uh, when you go to uh, Google Maps, then you'll see, uh, you, you could see your business showing up, uh, right? You know, my business is, where is my business? My business is right here somewhere. And um, this is a, a simple little video I did. I'll do a search for my business, and it'll come up and show it. And then when you, there, where it is right there, and then once you see that, then you can click on it and you can go manage your business profile. So the best place is to uh, go find it. And then, uh, you know, when you right click on it, you can go down here to add your business. So um, really pretty easy to do uh, once um, you know how to use Google Maps. So um, absolutely read the terms and services and privacy statements. Like, another way to get to it is google.com slash business. I, I strongly encourage using a business, uh, primary business email address. Look, if you have an email address that's, uh, you know, um, I have a Teddy Burris at gmail.com. I don't use that for business. I really don't. That's my, I say, personal one that I only use for some personal stuff. 
Don't use your personal email addresses for anything business related. Let me repeat, don't use a personal email address for anything business related. If you don't have a Google Workspace account, then create another Gmail account that you use for all your business stuff. <clears throat> By the way, when you have that, create that email address, you're going to want a recovery phone number, recovery email address, two-step authentication. And but the cost of Google Workspace is five or six bucks a month. What it gives you is well worth spending that money uh, to have a, a business email address. Now, you're going to spend $22 a year to register your domain. Mine is burrisconsulting.com. But it's well worth doing. It positions you, presents you a little bit better than everybody else is using AOL, Hotmail, Gmail, or even Outlook.com. Now, when you go to start, I went through the steps of, of registering Billy's books. And so here's the steps I went through. Give it a name, give it a category, double check your spelling. They uh, really encourage you, even though they don't force you to do it, look at the terms of services, look at the privacy policy. And then once you're doing that, hit next. Then, uh, you know, this location will show up on Google Maps and search when customers are looking for a business. Do you want that to happen? You select yes. If you don't want to show up on a map, then you, you, you know, select no and then hit next. Uh, your address, they're going to want an address, even if you're not going to be on the map. So give it your home address, your business address, whatever is relevant to put on there. Uh, and uh, you make sure you again check your spelling. Don't make it. Don't do it wrong. If, if, if Google sees that you're doing it uh, incorrectly, or you're intentionally spelling, or they feel that you're intentionally spelling it wrong, then they're not going to let you continue. Uh, do you provide deliveries or home and office visits? Yes or no. Um, this um, this will not only alert the viewers of your service area, but also let the system know that you do work outside of your office or your home office. Mm -hmm. I um, originally, I used to have um, cities, but then I went to states. And oh, interesting enough, on the Google map, if you uh, say that you do North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, D.C., then it'll put a box around that area. And those are the areas, first and foremost, those are the areas that when someone does a search for, in my context, a business consultant, um, then it's going to deliver my company profile to people in North Carolina, South Carolina, or Georgia. So make it as wide as you want to make it. If you only do work in a specific area like Hickory, North Carolina, then just select Hickory. But if you do work in a broader area, choose a, a, a range, a broader range, a, a region, or even a state, and it gets, more, gets you more reach to, for people to find you. So, um, by the way, that's a typo, but I didn't hit enter when I had that typo because the phone number is 218-6121. Uh, um, you want to make sure you have legitimate contact information, legitimate phone numbers. Uh, and, and the system will call you out if you if you do that wrong, if you try to pretend. So, I, you know, um, I, I set it up so that it can call me. This is my Google Voice business phone number. So I'm fine with text or voice phone uh, or, or voice call to that phone number uh, so that, you know, I can get verified to verify and, and, and uh, validate the account. Uh, you're going to want to verify this. So again, put a phone number. Uh, if you use email address, put a legitimate email address so that you can verify that you are a legitimate business uh, from this perspective. Uh, used to be you had to have a postcard only. That was pretty interesting. I remember that um, the only options that would allow me to do uh, was a postcard. And um, and so now that's gone. So the system is wanting to allow more and more people into the Google My Business or your business profiles. Uh, there's the postcard, uh, email, phone, or instant verification. I don't know how instant verification works. I didn't experiment with that. So I did phone. Uh, and that's true. When I set my business up, I didn't get postcard. I, and I don't think I got instant verification either. So um, then you can add your business hours. So if you're open for business, you can not, you can also say I'm open for business from, uh, you know, whatever days and whatever times. So, and, and that can be adjusted. You can adjust that at any time uh, for holidays or if you're taking vacation or whatever. You can update that uh, later on once you've set it up.
you can turn on messaging or you can turn it off. This will allow uh, customers or potential customers to message you through the, the page, uh, through your business page. And um, and those messages will be get delivered to whatever email address you have uh, set up for the uh, Google profile. And I recommend that. I strongly encourage you to be as accessible as you can be. The more accessible you are, the more likely you will garner conversations uh, and with the with, with with your target audience, with your ideal client. I'll tell you, recently, oh, I can't remember the scenario. Um, uh, I can't remember the scenario, what it was through, but I had a person reach out to me and wanted to do business with me, and they hired me to do some work. And they said that the reason why they they are doing business with me is because the other people did not respond in less than 24 hours. They sent a message during the week to other companies and they didn't respond. Well, I made myself immediately accessible. They got a hold of me. We got on the phone that day. We talked and the, and the person hired me to do the work because I was easily accessible. So when you write your business description, you don't want to use filler text like I use. What you want to do is you want to very clearly tell the viewer, what do you do? How do you create value for them? How do you solve their problems? How do you help them? You want to use keywords and phrases. Marketing calls this SEO. You want to use those words and phrases in the 750 characters of text as much as you can, appropriately written sentences don't do keyword stuffing uh, so that when they read this about your business, they go, oh, my God, this person does what I need done. And furthermore, check your spelling, check your grammar. You don't want to make those kinds of mistakes. And once you fill that out, you hit next and keep going. Then you can add photos. You see, I got a bunch of photos already added to my account, uh, to my business profile. But you can add photos, and these photos you want to use should be photos that tell your story, photos that show your target audience, ideal client, what you do, and how you create value for them. If um, you know if it includes a product, you might want to show photos with you or with others and that product. Uh, often, I, I have co had conversations with clothing uh, resellers who sell. Uh, one example was Women's Western Wear, and their entire page was covered up with pictures of women's Western wear but there were no women in it and they made a pivot and they started changing out their pictures and showing pictures of their, uh, of their Western wear with women wearing them. And they started getting way more views of their business profile. So don't have pictures of your stuff that don't include pictures of the people using your stuff. By the way, don't, don't steal images from the internet either. I buy every image that I don't create myself. Think about that. Now, yes, when you go to set your profile up, Google is going to say, hey, now that you have this set up, why don't you start doing some advertising? I say claim your $500 and hang on to it. Make sure you know what the... Uh, uh, the, the drop dead date is to use it. When does it uh, end or expire? But don't jump all over this. Um, advertising on Google is a powerful tool. But by the way, to claim 500, you got to spend 500. So just be aware of that. That's a total of a thousand. That is an interest. That's a night, not a bad amount of money for a campaign. Uh, I'm not a Google ads consultant. I just know from what I've learned over the years. $1,000 is a pretty decent, small, one-time campaign. And then what do you do? Are you going to throw another $1,000 at it? Maybe, but be very deliberate about spending money on Google ads and make sure you know how to create an ad and create a compelling ad, create compelling messaging, et cetera, et cetera. If that's not your expertise, don't waste your money because it will not work. And then once you have your Google uh, uh, Google business profile in place, then the next thing to do is to manage it. And uh, when you do, when you're logged in as yourself, I'm, you can say I'm logged in over here. As, as uh, it doesn't tell you, but I know it's uh, T L Burris at BurrisConsulting.com. Maybe it's TeddyBurris.com. It could be both. Um, when I when I'm logged into Google as myself, and I do a Google search for my business. Then not only is the the this box going to show up, I can't remember the name of it, 
not only is this going to show up, but I'm also going to have these features right here because I'm looking at my business. I'm logged in as myself. So Google gives me the tools to edit the profile, read reviews, messages, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it makes it really easy for you to manage your Google uh, business profile. Again, as long as you're logged in to Google Chrome yourself. And then there's the big screen of all the different uh, tools are available to you. Ask for reviews, add an update, Q&A calls. That's a whole lot of tools. You can actually scroll through them right here if I was in a web browser. I got 29 customer interactions. I don't spend a lot of time on my profile, um, but interested enough, I do have some interactions. I don't know if that, that circle means it's uh, it says looks good. I wonder if that needs to be a solid green for it to be fantastic. I, I'll go look at that when we go when we go into Google, um, my business. So, um, <clears throat> So here's some tips. By the way, <laughs> I did a, uh, I went to chat GPT and I did, a, do I have that in here? Uh, no, I don't. I went to chat GPT and I asked chat GPT, I said, what are the best practices for managing a Google business profile? And this is not what exactly came up, but it was pretty close to what I'd already written and so I was uh, somewhat intrigued that chat GPT was on track with that. Um, but by mind, the, the, some best practices for managing your Google business profile, claim it. Don't let it sit out there unclaimed. That's a waste of space or, or called internet dust. Make sure you fill out every section that's relevant and appropriate on your uh, Google My Business or business profile. Um, um, Make sure your uh, your contact information is up to date. Um, you know you want to make sure you um, mark off all the apl applicable attributes. Make sure you've got all uh, you know its categories and subcategories. Fill that all out to the best of your ability. Write a complete um, description for uh, for your business so that it's uh, not only keyword rich, but it speaks clearly to your target audience. Remember, that's 750 characters. Hey, Tim, good to have you on here. I did record this, so you'll be able to get the recording to catch the part that I started probably about uh, five or six minutes ago. Um, All right, cheers. Thank you very much, Ted. Cool. cool. So uh, you want to, I recommend, I wrote weekly. And so weekly is okay if you have the ability to do that. The worst thing you can do is be sporadic. You want to be consistent. So if you can't do weekly, can you do bi-weekly? Can you do monthly? Whatever you decide to do, you need to be able to be consistent at it. Again, I wrote weekly for published posts. I wrote weekly for update, update, upload new photos. You may not be able to pull that off. I actually can't either uh, because I have so many other things to do. But you want to you know, put updates, write a post. Uh, you want to upload photos. Um, on a frequency that you can sustain. And by the way, one thing one, about the answer questions, there's a feature called answer questions. We'll look at that uh, when we go live in a moment. Uh, you, you could set that up. You could, uh, what's it called? You know, create somebody in the audience, you know, what's it called? Uh, have a plant in the audience. So you could ask your girlfriend, your, bro your boyfriend, you can ask a neighbor, Guess one of your kids, do me a favor, go to my Google uh, business profile and ask a question. And that way you can answer the question. And what you're doing is you're giving your target audience useful content through the answers to those questions. Um, you know, get reviews. It's hard to get reviews. I ask on a probably every other month. And I recently asked, I think I asked 25 people and I've got uh, in, in the last less than a month, I've gotten one and these are buddies of mine. These are professional contacts that I've done work for. They know me, they trust and respect me. I'm sure they'd stand on the top of a mountain and, and rant and rave about how fantastic I am, but I couldn't get them to go to Google my business and give me a review. So uh, it's okay. You can't, you can't get everything you want, Teddy. If you have products and services, you want to showcase those on there. I recommend you set up messaging and pay attention to messaging. And bottom line, maintain this. Don't ignore it. Don't put it out there and go, I'm done. Put it out there and manage it. 
because that's how, just like any other social media platform, if you're on LinkedIn, your YouTube, Quora, Instagram, Snapchat, what's the other ones? Twitter, Tinder, Bumble, Grinder. I don't care what you're on, I'm being satirical with some of those ideas. You don't want to just put it out there and hope and pray. You want to put it out there and manage it and pay attention to it. All right, so now we'll go in to a business profile and we'll take a look at it and I, I will share with you um, some ideas that you might want to pay attention to. So where is it? All right, let's go. So where is it? So I'm just going to do a search. I'm logged in. You see, by the way, if, if you're using Google Chrome and you have multiple Google email addresses or you have multiple uh, different purposes for having uh, using Google Chrome, let me show you something that's really pretty cool. See this profile right here? I click on profile. I've got a Burris Consulting at, uh, excuse me, that's, uh, yeah, Burris Consulting at gmail.com. This is Teddy Burris' scorevolunteer.org. That's another Google uh, workspace account. This is Teddy Burris at Gmail. This is TL Burris at Burris Consulting. This is, um, these these need to go away. This is a, a, a teddyburris.com profile. I don't know why it popped up too, but I need to get rid of those two. But here's the cool thing about those. These are all standalone. You go to this, this is full blown Google Workspace right here. I have I have you know inbox, uh, contacts, uh, Drive, Calendar, and then I have a LinkedIn account logged in here. But if I go to this one over here, this is my main business one. I have the same thing: email, Calendar, Drive, contacts, Voice, and then all this other stuff, including another. Uh, here's another LinkedIn account right here. Go away! This thing dropped down. I need to get it to hide. Where is hide? Hide floating. So there's, uh, you know, another um, um, LinkedIn account, all in individual profiles on Google Chrome, which makes using Google products way more powerful. And I'm, as you, you see right here, I'm logged in as TL Burris at uh, teddyburris.com, same thing as burrisconsulting.com. Now, if I go up here and I just do a search for Burris Consulting, because I'm already logged in, Inc., Look, there's my panel. I think it's called a panel. Um, there's the panel that is uh, set up for me. I have my photos. I have images outside, uh, website, directions. Um, I don't know what save does. I should look up, look at that and see. Well, let's just click on it. What's save do? Save favorites, want to go, travel plans. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Maybe favorites. Um, I can call because there's a phone number associated with it as well. I've got eight Google reviews that are pretty decent. Um, and then here's, you know, you, it tells me that I manage this profile. Um, uh, it's called, it's a business networking company in Davie County, North Carolina. Um, there's my, you know, all this information here is what everybody else sees. There's my, get my 500 bucks. There's my products. I have a, a couple of different products. What do I have here? I, have, you know, not too many. I have three listed, a quick review, LinkedIn expert, uh, Udemy course that's online. So I should add, there's a few more I should add. Maybe I'll show you how to do that with one of them. Uh, questions, I've gotten one question. Who asked the question? I don't know. I don't done, Do you provide LinkedIn training globally? I don't know who asked that question, but the answer is I do. So I answered it. But can I ask my own question? Look, I can ask my own question. So, but anyway, there's my Google business profile and it's, it's now called uh, um, Google business right there, Google business is not called a Google My Business. So how do we manage this? By the way, feel free to ask me any questions and I will answer them for you. Let's see, what's the three dots? Business profile, notifications, add a new profile. Go to my, uh, if I have multiple and go to my, let's see, do I have multiples? I do, I have Billy's Books and Burris Consulting. And this one here is on the verge of being deleted. So I wonder if, because this is only looks good, is can I get better than it looks good? That might be a good question for me to ask Google. So here's a, all the buttons I talked about. Go across it, you can see, you know, brings up more, get chat alerts by text, get more reviews, get noticed by more customers. Like this is the year last added photos, 214 days ago, add new photos. See, it wants me to add new more photos. The more photos I add, the more, uh, and I, I read somewhere and had a Google My Business consultant validate this, that ideally you want to have a minimum, listen to this big number, of 100 photos. 
the more photos you have, the more the system will rank you and show you in uh, Google searches and show your panel. So, um, so I'm gonna go edit my profile. But again, please feel free to jump in and ask me any questions, even if it's not what I'm showing you. So I'm going to edit my profile. Here's my about section, business name, business categories. I wish they were more specific, but they're not. I'm, I'm falling under marketing consultant, internet marketing service. There's my 750 K, uh, uh, characters. Uh, I think that's 750 characters of my description. Uh, the business opened December 18th, 2010. There's my business phone number, my website, my short name. I don't know where that gets used. Um, business locations, no location, deliveries and home service only. So I don't want people coming to my home. Um, let's see, something not approved. This is interesting. Well, I wonder if they're not approved because they're already there. That's interesting. So a current one, two. So I'm in North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, South Carolina, Georgia, Maryland, and Florida. Uh, all over the Southeast is what I was trying to do. I, I, I can't. I don't understand why. Oh, Canada, Mexico, and the United States are not selected. So can I edit these? And they're not in there. So it looks, looks like it. I don't know why it's telling me not. Let me edit again. Why they're not selected. But they, they are in there. So anyway, there's my locations. Um, what happens? I'll try again. I, I got to figure this out. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to do Canada, U.S., and Mexico. There's my business hours. I can edit that and change it. There's my holiday hours. If I want to say that, you know, when I'm, you know, for the 4th of July, am I open? You know, I could put, you know, I could change that if I want to. Um, I can add more hours, look for different specific types. And uh, more for the business doesn't identify as veteran owned. Let's see what else I have here. Identify as Asian, no, Black, Latino, LBG, LQ, LGBTQ. So I'm going to say identify woman-owned. Well, my wife is 50-50, but she doesn't own my business. So, you know, doesn't identify as any of those. These are pending. And um, I don't know, LGBTQ plus friendly. I'm okay with that. Uh, but that, anyway, it's all under business information, hours, location, contacts, and about. So go back. I can read reviews. This is of mine. So Kelly just did this four days ago. And by the way, anytime someone touches your content, whatever it is, positive or negative way, you must respond back. And you can see four days ago, Kelly gave me a review. And I said, thank you. And then I look, I wrote a little bit more. I just didn't say thank you. I said something a little bit more. So be a little bit more meaningful. Use this content, this reply, not just to speak to Kelly, but to speak to others who see this review. That's imperative. It's not just about Kelly. It's about engaging with others who see it. And so, um, you know, Lauren did, did a review for me. I said, okay, finally, one of my daughters liked what I did because I helped her with something the other day. And I'm pretty sure I responded back to everybody who engaged in my content. And so never miss that opportunity to engage, uh, not only directly with Iris, but for the sake of others who see your reviews, okay? Any questions or comments, please jump in, ask any question. And there's a get more review button. So I can copy that link right there and I can send that uh, via email, social media, however I want to send it. I can put it out there. Heck, I can put a link on my website if I want to and ask people if they liked my service to, to give me a Google review. Close that out. Let's see, where am I? I'm here, I'm good. Uh, messages. I can look and see if anybody sent me any messages. And I've gotten no messages other than from Google. So nobody's messaged me directly. Let me see. Let me do a scenario and show you that. So I'm going to go over here to this profile. I'm going to go to open a Google. I'm going to do a Burris Consulting, Inc., 
Uh, where's messaging? Hopefully messaging is right here somewhere because I got turned on. Write a review, Facebook, where, where messaging is. Hmm. Add a photo, ask a question, send to your phone. I don't see messaging. Website direction, save call. I don't see the message button. This is really interesting. So I would expect for there to be a message button, but I don't see it. So let's see, anybody on here have a Google business profile that I can bring up? Please let, uh, either chat or unmute and let me know that you have one. I'd love to see it. Hmm. I know I have messaging turned Yeah, on. we have one, um, but... Listen. What's the business, Tim? It's Peak Pro Consulting or Peak, uh, just Peak Productivity. Look under Peak Productivity, but you're going to be way back in the back. I am on page 6,000. Well, so sorry, go under Peak talking. Productivity, maybe. Is this it, Peak Performance? You no, know? it's Peak Pro, Peak Productivity, yeah. Just simply Peak Productivity. Yeah, that's what, what city, the page what is city listed are you in? in. I'm sorry? What city are you in? Winston-Salem. Uh oh, no banner. And you what? sure you have it? You have it turned on? No, that's the LinkedIn page. No, no. What's I don't want LinkedIn. What's your Google Workspace? What's yeah, the, the Google page? Workspace is that as well. Let me pull it up and just verify. It's listed as peak productivity. That's it. Yeah, there you are. Hang on, I'm jumping back and forth between screens. Uh, nope, that's not me. That's not you? Is it? Nope, uh, that's peak productivity coaching. Keep going down. Um, yeah. Well, see, this is interesting. So this is peak productivity, but this is not you here? No. Oh, Cincinnati, Ohio. And you're, you're definitely in Winston-Salem. Um. I'm See, jumping back and forth. Hang on. It's showing. Uh, well, it's showing us that we are listed in in Winston Salem. Yeah. And you're looking at your banner, and you're looking at the your uh, your panel. Yeah, I'm gonna click on the map, and I'll give you some. Oh, here, let's page. do that. Watch this. Let's do this. So peak productivity. Um. There you go. That's this us you here. Yeah. So there's your panel. There's your panel. So that's interesting because that's not what the panel looks from my screen. Do you have an image? Yeah. So maybe there's multiple peak productivities. What's the uh what's the address? What street? What's the street? Uh, uh let me see how it's listed on here because I'm not sure that I listed an address because it would be my house. Hang on, I can just do Winston Salem. Yeah, that's us. That's just okay. So, so it's it's actually an area. Yeah. So this is you. Yes. So interestingly, look up, look where it's showing up. Yeah, that's because we listed all those states, and it's probably just putting us in the pinning us in the middle. Yeah, and and do you actually have the address as Winston Salem on this page? Um. Edit profile, hang on. So we have on edit profile, we have Winston Salem, Georgia, Virginia, Tennessee, blah, 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 blah. Um, the business location is no location deliveries and home service only. So you don't, so that's interesting. So see that the, one of the downfalls of company profiles uh, or Google profiles, I'm trying to use the right term here as I'm supposed to is that they were originally designed for a brick and mortar. And they're originally designed for a city. And so when we expand them out and make them for a region, and I'm going to have the same problem with mine. If someone goes and Googles, you know, well, Burris Consulting is only going to come up one, so I shouldn't have a problem. But anyway, it makes it more difficult for people to find you. 
Um, yeah, you got to figure, you got to, I would really love to know how to be number one. So, well, I'll tell you one way to, to increase, increase visibility is, um, how many images do you have? You only have one image. Remember the statement that uh, the Google, my business uh, coach told me who works for Google. Yeah. She said a hundred images. So okay. put, put five images a, a, a day out there for 20 days and, and make, and by the way, every time you put an image, do make sure your images have names. Don't put an image with, uh, come on, can I save this? Three dots, share, print. Uh, it won't let me right click on it. But you really do want the image uh, to have a name, and it should include peak productivity. So and no, should it also have keywords attached to it as well? You well, can. Or? You could. Uh, what's the business all about? Consulting. It's uh, basically lean manufacturing consulting. I just got off the, I just did a coaching session for another lean manufacturing guy, Tim. Um, so yeah, so you want lean, you know, lean, six sigma, productivity, business coaching. I always do this. The way I do it is I put the keywords that are relevant to that image or that I want tied to that image. You know, example, it might be, you know, lean six sigma, and I'm making stuff up. It may not be what it is, yep, Tim. Lean yep. six sigma by peak productivity or lean six sigma peak productivity by Tim Upchurch. So I, for my business is Teddy. So I'm always trying to get Ted. Now I don't put Burris consulting for the most part. I put Teddy Burris because mm -hmm. I want to be found as Teddy Burris. So anyway, make sure your images all have names. No, uh, no camera ID. You know what I'm saying? You want to rename every one of them. Yep. So that's number one that I would recommend to him. Uh, number two is you don't have any details, dude. Tell me who the heck you are and what you do. So on my list, I'm showing a description. I'm showing everything else. So I, I'm, I guess I'm trying to wonder why it's not showing up on, on yours. Cause it does show up on mine. And this is the right one. Yep. Good about. Yeah. I just clicked on about and I don't have your details. Wow. Say okay. pending? How, how long ago did you make this? uh be about a week and a half ago i did not get the quote unquote golden ticket uh in the mail yet if if uh that was supposed to occur did you did you try to validate by a, a mailing address or validate by a phone number yeah i googled by it was through my google account yeah but 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 you validate trying to validate by mail or validate by phone i did it by phone well then you should have did you get the text Yes. Then you. This is already validated. You're just missing that details. I yeah, don't, I don't know, know why, because I'm looking at it on my end and I'm seeing it. Yeah. I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to look at it, and I don't um, want to on this video bring your stuff up on this video. Yeah. No worries. No worries. The public. So, um, is this? Oh, this is a website. This is this is web results. So, yeah, I didn't expect to see it there. So here's a second one. Figure out why your content's not showing up and maybe your page hasn't been completely validated. Don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. cause I would expect to see more. I mean, if I go back to Burris consulting, uh, I can do that here. Um, if I do this, so do I see my about there's my about right there. Yeah. I'm looking at it as a user. I'm not logged in as Teddy Burris. I'm logged in as this, this uh, other account I use. So there's all my stuff. And if I go to a map, let me do the same thing you did or I did for yours. So there's Burris Consulting right there. There's my images. Here's my about. Oh, where's my, look at that. I'm looking for my own stuff. Overview. Yeah, you're probably right next to me in... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Now, where's my own stuff? Is it over here? I don't know. I expect to see my about section. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Um, what is that? <laughs> so, and I don't. I see my reviews, I'm, I'm, but I don't see my about. 
when I'm looking at it on the map. But notice when I looked at it on the panel, it showed up on the panel. Come back out one more. Come on. See on the panel, there it is. So why it doesn't show up on the map, I don't know. But um, yeah, mine shows up on the, if you scroll down on the very bottom, on it the does, panel, it on does the panel, ask the, it, it shows up at the very bottom underneath the review section. From the map or from the web browser? On the web browser. So, but not on the map. No. Yeah. So again, that, that's, that, that's something that, and that mine doesn't either on the map. Mine okay. only shows up on the web when I do a web browser view like this. So, um, but you, uh, you know, you don't want people to find you on a map. No, you want people no. to find you in a web browser search. So right. you, you know, come out a map. So how do you get to show up for, come on here. How do you get that panel to show up here? I'm in your region. So you would think that you would show up for me, but. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, that's the LinkedIn account. No, this that might be right here. This over here on the see about results. Okay. Boom. There it is. If you scroll down, it should there's be. There's your text. There it is. There's your text. So the two big things off the top of my head, Tim, is more images, uh, get some reviews, um, and do some posts. Again, look at Burris Consulting. Yeah, sorry, I came a little late. So that was one of the questions. Well, that's okay. You, that's okay. Something like, uh, uh, you know, we were going to look at like the frequently asked questions um for you know people that were getting ready to hire lean consultants or were searching for lean consultants and then post those on the page but i didn't quite know how to do that as long as it didn't come off we didn't want to do it as an event we wanted to do it as something that would stay on the google my business page and 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 always be there to get that recognition uh i guess if you will um your post will appear i don't want to read more i've read enough i don't want to read more i just want to do it where'd it go ask a question publicly here we go um, um is there a difference between lane six sigma and six sigma So boom, I just posted a question. So, okay. so here, so, so here's the other thing. Number one, more images. Number two, um, get people to ask you questions. And number three, get some reviews from the people who love you. That, that Those would be just some of the big things to do. Now you may have missed the conversation I had earlier um, with those in the slide deck where I said, you know, publish uh, on a regular basis. I think you were here. Publish, you know, photos on a regular basis, get reviews, update, add your products and services. Um, you know, make sure you have your categories selected right, et cetera. These are some basics. Mm -hmm. so, but Okay, thank you. All good. All right, Lola, any questions? Are you on here? Are you using Google My Business now? Yes, sir. I sent you my link. Um, I'm running into the same issue. When you search up my business name, it's not coming up. So I sent you a message in the chat um, to see if that will help you be able to locate mine. Well, look at me ignoring chat. <laughs> so here's your Google uh, with love, Lola Care Service. So I find you on the, where are you on the map? Um, so this sudden, I mean, if so if I go up here and do a search, I'm going I'm to switch it out and just make it different. By the way, that's my brother. He's not doing anything. Let's see, is he on here? 
There he is in Maryland, Burris, Burris Electric, out of Hagerstown. Yep, that's his house right there. He's got a pool back behind the house. Um, all right, so if I switched it, now I'm going to go back to Lola. Lola, tell me the business name again. With Love Lola Care With Services. Love Lola. I'm typing it in slowly. With Love Lola. Right, right there, you're in Goldsboro. Yes, right? sir. So there's the area that you're in. See that map? Yes, sir. I hey, don't you serve me anymore, girl. You call me pet. <laughs> I, I have I'm, military parents. I'm I, sorry. I, have, I think I think we've talked, Lola. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I I hang out in Clayton, and I hang out on Five Forty all the time. That's where that's where my two favorite bars are that are owned by my daughters in their homes. So, okay. <laughs> so in a map, I can find this. And, you know, just tell, most people don't know what this means. You know that, see that border? Mm -hmm. Most people do, you, you don't do work in Will in Wilson or Lillington? I would like to, but. <laughs> well, extend your, extend your region. Okay. You know, it's, just change it up because you've got it uh, tightened down tighter. So, um, so if I do a Google search for this, let me uh, just do Google. And I look for now. See, it was one thing for people to find you with Love Lola. Is that what did I say that right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lola. We're good. With Love Lola Care. Yes. Services. So see it. This comes back to that same thing I, I was telling Tim. It's kind of hard. When you're when it when it can't find you in a city, and, and if yeah. I'm not in your region, I'm also not in your region, Garner, yeah. North Carolina. Oh, look at that! Well, that's not that's not me. I'm not sure who that oh, it's is. Not you. Yeah. Who is this? Why are they there? Get rid of them. <laughs> uh, so I love it when I see own this business, but there's an image. The fact that I see two images tells me someone's managing this. If I don't see any images and I see this, then I could I could take it. Yeah. But yeah, I don't see you. And and I wrote this right. With Love Lola Care Services? Yeah. So watch yeah. this. But see, people aren't going to do this. They're not going to put quotes right. It still didn't bring you up. So it really makes it hard um, and again, if I was in Garner, I might have a better chance. If I was in your region, I might have a better chance to find you. And so what you really got to do is get get your clients, get people in this region right here, Lola, mm -hmm. that you know to look for you. Okay. okay. And what's the service you do, Lola? What kind of business do you provide? I'm a postpartum doula. So I come in after... Um... Families have had a new baby and I provide postpartum care, um, help them with overnights and let them get some rest. Look at that. Postpartum care, Garner, North Carolina. So it goes to a get Luna. But I don't see you. Give me some other words that you use uh, um, in your content. Doula. Um. D O U L A. Whoop. I'll see. <laughs> so you're not showing up. And again, I'm not in your region. But you gotcha. what you want to do is you want to use the words. And Tim, the same thing for you. <clears throat> People aren't going to look for your business name per se. They're going to look for the words that represent what you do. So <laughs> Go ahead, Lola. So I would need to have some more people like look my business up in the areas that I service for it to start showing up more. No, for you to verify it does show up. Oh, okay, okay. For you to get it to show up more than what you have to do, and the same thing I would offer for you, Lola, and I um, is <clears throat> I would recommend that you have more images. You have seven. You want to have way more. I would recommend that you get some people to do some reviews. You don't have a review. Okay. Um, I would recommend that you you start writing one or two 
you know, simple post and put it on there. Uh, could I get both of you just to do a search for LinkedIn trainer, LinkedIn trainer, Winston Salem. Okay. And see what you get. And it, it may not work if you're, uh, are you in Garner, Lola? Um, no, I'm in Princeton, right outside of Goldsboro. Goldsboro. There's Goldsboro there. Okay. So you're out. Okay. There. What came up, Tim? Uh, Ryan McNearney, uh, Mark Griffin. These are, I'm looking for you. Well, see, because that's, that's the whole thing. If I'm not showing, if my panel's not showing up, what about just Burris Consulting in uh, North Carolina? What's that give you? And remember, Burris is double R I double S. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's jumping up. It's it's telling me I typed it in wrong. So yeah, is the panel? So I get an open corporates, uh, and then I see your Google. Uh, My panel. Yeah, I see your panel, and then if I scroll down, I see all the the stuff that I should see. Yeah. Yeah. So, but again, but it is showing your house. So. <laughs> <laughs> one of the images tim that i had on google does it have the house the picture with the stars in the grass uh i can't see that much but i know it, it had does. i had huge i had uh, 18 inch red white and blue stars in the grass um and that may not be the picture i think i removed that picture and replaced it with something else i had it fourth of july image on there um so um that's interesting. You say it shows my house. Well, it shows a house. I don't know if it's your well, house. It's, a, it's a, 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 a brick on both sides, siding in the middle, <clears throat> um, you know, with the front porch. Uh, looks like. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Right here. Oh yeah, so I do. I do have my house picture there. I, I do have it on there. I'm sorry. Right there. Yeah, I see it. <clears throat> yeah, I see. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I'm my bad. I do have it on there. Come on, where is it? So it, it's there. There is a there is a house picture. I forgot. So. Uh, but here's the thing that makes it hard. It's just like any other social media. You, you're not going to get it to show. It's this house right here. Yep. Yeah, you're not going to get it. That tree, by the way, is 25 feet tall right now. That <laughs> little teeny tree. Um, you're not going to get your stuff to show up where you want it to show up until you have enough stuff. More keywords. Because that's the magic. I mean, you want to show up based on the keywords you use here, you know, and I don't have, I'm not using the word LinkedIn training at all. I just noticed a failure on my part. I made this more about social media. I don't have the words LinkedIn training. I have social media training. That's how I get found by LinkedIn training or LinkedIn trainer. So you've got to have keywords in here. You got to look for updates. You know, uh, I'm looking at it as myself. You got to have posts in here, reviews, questions you've answered. The more content, just like any other social media platform, you've got to have, um, I'm looking for existing posts. You've got to have more content with more keywords, just like any other platform. And then when they do a search for your name, they do a search for your keywords, the system's going to index based on, you know, every field, every single field that you use, it's going to index you based on that. So um, what, what other questions about this or anything relevant to this? So if you can scroll down just a little bit and you put, so I do not have a products section. So I guess I have to edit products and add them though. 
first. Yeah, right? so right here, I can go, where's products? A a edit products. I can add a product. Gotcha. So my product name is my Teachable Academy. That's, and I got to select the category. Virtual coaching product is, uh, I think it's 295 Product description. Let me go to Teachable. Dot TL birth or is it all the way around? So product shows up, but services would not. So let me let me cancel this. Let me get that URL while I'm here. Copy that. I'm gonna finish updating this. Um uh, product landing page optional and is it oh put this here and then uh, teachable academy training you how to use LinkedIn as a business tool and then I have a photo let me get an image finish doing this I'll come back and edit it later I'm gonna get the whole thing just to show you go to desktop there it is. Put an image and hits publish. Uh, 295. Why can't I put a dollar sign? That's 2%. It says it's in US dollars. So. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, and now I have multiple products. I just added, I refresh this. Now, you, the, the services thing, um, well, may I got to wait for it. View all. Maybe I got to wait for it. To, it hasn't posted yet. So products and services, edit services. So there's products. And oh, so how are you using the word services, Tim? Well, we offer services. We don't offer products. So um, look, I these are these are ad hoc. I type these in manually. LinkedIn training. Now, see, I could do LinkedIn one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. Yeah, we have all those filled in, but they're not showing on the front page. So, oh, okay. So, um, go away. I'm talking to these people. So, so they're not showing when you view your page. It doesn't show up there. No, sir. Products no. do. No, Teddy. <laughs> uh, you're right. I don't see my services. Where's my freaking services? Yeah. So, so I got another question to answer. You know, how to display services? Wonder why they don't show up at all. Direction, save, call. Good point. Yeah. Products. Let's go back and edit this profile. Um, more. Yeah, there's no way. I'm scrolling backwards through the whole thing. I'll have to, I'll have to go do some research on that because it doesn't. It doesn't show, now, <laughs> does it show up on the, on the map? Maybe it shows up on the map, but. So products view all does not show my services. So I'll, I'll get the answer to that. And um, I will include this with the content that I send back. I'll get the answer to all this and include it with the content I send back to Lily. To and I also don't have the add a post. So I'm assuming that. You don't have add an update. Um, I got. Where did you do that? Right here. Uh, when I, I got my business panel on the right. And no, but let me. Oh, there it is. I had to. I had to toggle down. Add an update. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go find out why services. I I would want products and services. I mean, really, after me, that's the magic when people see I'm a LinkedIn trainer. You know, so if I edit my services, where's ser edit services? If I edit this, see, I I'm failing here. 
I have 300 characters where I could talk about this. Yep. And I need to talk about it so that I can get my keywords in there. You know, providing. So I, I don't want to take your time, but I absolutely should do that. Whether I put a price to it or not, you know, I, I absolutely never, I fail, never use an empty text box because those are indexed. So I got to come back and fix my own stuff. More services. And another business category. I, I don't know why these don't show, but I will figure this out. Help send feedback. I might just have to click that. So, all right, what other questions do you ladies and gentlemen have? It, I, I'll just summarize with this. It can be very useful if people can find it. How do you get people to find it? You, you've got to you've got to populate it and feed it. You know, you got to have more content. The more content you have with your keywords, with your company name, et cetera, et cetera the more likely you're going to show up when someone does a search for either your company or your keywords and phrases, if they are in your service area. That's probably the big key. So. So would it make sense to have someone ask the questions that we want to answer to get us those keywords to, to, to put it out there? And just like you said, just, you know, throw chum in the water, I guess. Ah, I'm not going to use that word, those phrases, phrase, and I'm with you, Tim. That means you want, I call it noise. You need noise. The more noise you create, the, the more likely you're going to get found. But you're going to get found by the right people when your noise is highly relevant and beneficial. Gotcha. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I don't know if you have to have other ask the question because I'm on my own page and I can ask my own questions. Okay. So I, I don't know the answer. You know, who's who asking the question is better, me or somebody else? So I think someone else would be better, really, from a presentation perspective. But from the systems perspective, I don't think the system cares. So, but, but try it. See, see what happens. Get some other people to do it for you. You know, or, you know, log, log in as a, a, you know, a different Gmail address and do it. Uh, I don't know if you have to have, let me try something. Do I have to have a Gmail account to do this? Um, no, I didn't want to do that. I just want Burris Consulting. So there's the profile. Can I ask a question without being logged in? Nope, you need to be logged in. Okay. So you need a Gmail account. I, I had this conversation with a client the other day. Gmail, excuse me, Google is creating an ecosystem bigger and better, I think, than anyone else's ecosystem. You, you know, If you don't have a Google account, you are in many respects left out of this ecosystem. So it makes sense to have a Gmail account or Google Workspace. So, all right. Lola, Tim, anything else before I, before I go away? No, appreciate all of this. And sorry about the disruption. I, I don't know why it sent me to the 6.30 p.m. Well, it sent, it sent everybody. It sent everybody to that. And Lola, uh, I don't know if she re-logged re in. Lola, did you re-register or did you get an updated notice? Um, I went to my first link um, yes. when I first registered, um, like earlier in the month. Mm -hmm. And I just tried to use that way to get in. And it was able to register me through cool. Zoom that way. For the um, new URL. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. yeah. So. And thank you so, so much. This has really helped me. I was wondering the same thing because I have the same little green donut circle saying that my Google pro profile looks good. But I was like, if it looks good, like, why isn't it showing up? So this definitely has helped answer um, a lot of my questions. And I'm going to work on getting some reviews and some pictures up and hopefully it'll show up in my area. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, I, I, I need the, the, the what's, the, what's the phrase? The cobbler's shoes need help. 
<laughs> All right, folks, you guys have a great week and I'll reach out to me. I can help you out in any way. And I'll, uh, I'll get this content and these answers sent to Lily and she'll send them to you. Okay. Right. Awesome. Thank time. you. Right. Bye -bye. Yes, have, a safe have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.